Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm going to be introducing the new Tor Edge Hot Launch E521 and C521 drivers. There are subtle differences between two models. The E521 is a little bit more draw bias model, where the C521 is a little bit more traditional looking model. Um, so let's just kind of touch on the differences between these two models before I get the chance to test them. First, the E521, it has this Houdini sole. So Houdini sole helps to really maximize the CG in a much lower location, which makes the MOI on the driver 12% more forgiving than their previous models. So as we're testing today, I'm going to expect that this model is going to fly a little bit higher and be very, very forgiving. It also has a little bit more of a shallow face. Shallow face is also going to help get that ball to launch in the, ball, in the air a little bit easier. And it also has offset on it. Now, offset it kind of has been switched off in the last few years on driver models because there has been adjustability options. Now, the Tor Edge E521 and C521 are not adjustable. So this model still has some offset. It also is set up one degree closed at setup and also has a little more draw bias. So this is your club. If you're really trying to get that ball to go left and you're having a hard time with slicing the ball, be a great option for you. Um, the E521 comes in the Fubuki golf shaft. It has a ladies flex all the way up to stiff flex option and it retails at 229 99. There are three loft options. You've got a 10.5 degree, a 12 degree, and the HL option. The HL is about 15 degrees of loft on it. So this is your club that if you want to get the ball to go high and go a little more to the left, it's a great option. We also are going to be testing the C521 today as well. So the C521 is a little bit more compact head, a little more traditional looking. Um, I believe Tor Edge used the word C for a competitive spec. So essentially it's a little bit more of kind of a competitor's head compared to other models out there that are maybe gonna be go a little bit further with a little bit lower spin. Um, it has, they have introduced the diamond face. So the diamond face that has been in Tor Edge's previous more premium models. Um, I believe that this E521 also has this in their club. Um, but this is also a very extremely high MOI model. It is 8%, um, even more forgiving than the previous Tor Edge's driver models. So great option for those players that are looking for maybe a little bit more of a player's look to it. Maybe not going to go quite as far left, but it's definitely going to be a great option. The C521 comes in three loft options, 9 degrees, 10.5 degrees, and 12 degrees. Uh, both the C521 and the E521 are built in the U.S. They come with Tor Edge's custom-fitting 48-hour delivery and are covered under a lifetime warranty. Speaking of value, so value for these drivers at 229 great option for someone that's looking to maybe not spend as much as we know drivers can get a little bit more on the, on the price here in there as well. So the C521 comes with the Odella Rogue shaft um, from Ladies Flex all the way up to Extra Stiff as well. So great option for golfers here. Um, I hope you really enjoy our content. Today we're going to be talking about Tor Edge, but we've got a lot of other great videos coming up in the future. If you could, please subscribe to our channel, click that like button, and uh, we'll definitely give you plenty of content to take a look at. Right now I'm going to get after some shots and uh, Take a look at some data. So those were the first five swings with the C521. Now it's time to hit five shots with the E521. Okay, so initial impression so far is the C521 
plays a little bit more, kind of like a more of a player's shape looking at the club. You can see if you take a look on the right here, you can see the dispersion pattern with the white circle. That was the C521. The E521 was really easy for me to turn over. You can take a look at the yellow circle there. May not have been gone quite as far because it was just spinning about 300 RPMs more, but very, very forgiving, very easy to turn over. A very, very high MOI club. Great for that player to so maybe try to hit the ball a little bit higher and get that ball to kind of turn over. Now, these are both 10.5 degree driver lofts. You'll notice the launch angle at 15.7 with the E521 and 14.2 with the C521. Now I'm gonna hit five more with each one just to validate the data, and now we'll take a look at some numbers. Okay, so I'm holding these two drivers in my hand, the C521 and the E521. So first, before taking a look at the numbers, I want to touch on the look between the difference between the two of them. So the C521 looks a little bit more compact compared to the E521. The E521 is a little larger, deeper with regards to CG in the back of the back of the club. Um, so a little bit lower and deeper with CG. You can definitely see how the crown kind of pushes back, kind of like triangular in a way. Um, the C521 is kind of like your more traditional looking driver head. Definitely for me, a little bit more appealing on the eye, um, but definitely some big differences between the two of them. One thing I didn't touch on is the offset on the E521. It is evident, it is there for a reason, it is there to help with make the club be a little bit more draw bias. And kind of jumping over here to and let maybe take a look at the dispersion really quickly. You will notice with the E521, I had one shot that was right of center here. So that's this shot right here. So I kept up uh, my best eight of ten shots when I when I hit these clubs, best four or five each time around. But you can definitely notice how furthest one to the right was about five yards to the right. The uh, furthest to the left was about 15 yards to the left. So very, very good dispersion pattern going on with the E521. A little bit more draw bias. Um, comparing that to the, e, to the C521, you'll notice the white circle, you can see how there is a pretty good consistent carry distance on the ball. I was consistently carrying it just a little bit over 280. But you'll notice there was only one ball that was to the left of the center, where all the other balls were to the right. So definitely a much easier club to draw is the E521 compared to the uh, C521. And we'll touch on that here as we take a look at the numbers. So let's kind of dive through the numbers really quickly. Um, so club speed, my club speed with both of them, basically 108 miles an hour, 107.7 with the E521, 108 with the C521, so basically the exact same. So this is going to be a great test on ball speed and efficiency. The ball speed was almost 2 miles an hour faster with the C521, so my efficiency smash factor 150 with the 521. Definitely not to be scoffed at with the uh, E521. 149 smash factor is very, very, very good with regards to efficiency as well. So very forgiving models. Um, if we take a look at spin rate, this is really, really, really interesting. The C521 was spinning about 2368 on average with a consistency of plus or minus 200. The E521 was spinning 2967 with a consistency of 372. So C521 is spinning a little bit less and also consistency, consistently a little bit less. The E521 was spinning a little bit more, about 600 RPMs more um, than the C521 as well. Um, launch angle, I know the E521 is definitely designed to launch the ball up in the air to get the ball to carry. 
get the ball up in the air, especially for those players to have a little bit slower swing speed than myself. Um, it did launch 1.4 degrees higher than the C521 there as well. If we take a look at carry distance, I carried the ball uh, 10 yards further with the C521 than with the E521. That is because the spin rate stayed down. Um, if I had have kept that spin rate down with the E521, at the same as the C521, it would have actually gone further because high launch is low spin is what we're after. Um, so definitely interesting numbers there. Um, if we take a look across here, I mentioned I wanted to touch on interesting numbers and why the bull was going a little bit to the left. So offset. Offset on the E521 helped me to close my face angle to my path. So notice on average, negative 0.8. My face angle was actually dead square to the target. My club path ever so slightly in to out at 0 0.8. With the C521, the face angle was 2.7 degrees open at impact. Um, I was able to generate, on average, a very slight curve to the left, five feet to the left. But you will notice the E521, 16 feet of curve to the left. So that's Great news for those golfers out there looking for a club that's going to be a little more draw bias. In the definitely in the value section as well. We even touched on the fact that how good these clubs are for 229 compared to other models out in the market that would be double the price to get the exact same results. So very very good options here with Tour Edge. The E521 did fly about 22 feet higher than the C521. Um, so really interesting there. In conclusion, the E521 is a great option for a golfer that is looking for a little extra height, a little higher launch angle, a little bit more spin, and a much more draw bias club. The C521 plays a little bit more kind of like a, a player's club per se compared to the E521. Still definitely in the more kind of game improvement category. But it is a great value club for a little bit lower spinning option. Um, maybe not quite as draw bias, but also very, very forgiving. So these are some great options from Tour Edge. The Tour Edge hot launch is going to be really good here going forward in 2021.